The idea for this patient safety film came from a, a group uh, at one of our local hospitals in the region, in Burton on Trent, and they had uh, done a piece of work talking to patients about their real, real life experiences and the problems that they'd had in, in visiting the hospital. And the Burton group had the idea of putting the, these different patient stories together into a film telling the story of one fictional patient and making a film aimed at first at, at teaching student doctors about these issues, but the film has since been used for more than student doctors, for, for trainee nurses and for trainee health professionals from a range of professions. Now Mildred, it looks as if you've had another stroke. Now let's hope that it gets better, just as quick as the last one did. But you can't look after yourself here, so I'm going to call the hospital now, OK? There are three key stages in making any film, and that's pre-production, planning the film, doing the filming itself, and then post-production, the editing. Now, in the case of, of this film, as with any film, the, the pre-production is very important. And with this film, what we did was work very hard and over a number of months build a script that we were all happy with and work and rework that script. And that was very important because the filming itself was quite complicated with so many actors involved but because we had a good solid script to work from it was a lot less fraught than it might have been. further apart if you can. That's it. I'm going to take some steps towards the chair. Okay. That's it. Lots of little steps over towards me. Good. A bit further. That's lovely. Right, can you feel the chair behind your legs? Yeah. Do you want to reach down with your hands for the chair arms then? And just lower yourself down nice and slowly. Good, well done. That's really good. You should be up and walking with a stick in a couple of days. The writing team at the hospital in Burton who commissioned the film consisted of four people. They were two doctors a nurse and then very importantly somebody who had experience of working in the airline industry, a pilot, and she brought with her the experience of, of the training regime in the airline industry and the, and the focus on safety that they have there. Then in making the film uh, at Leicester we have uh, a quite experienced video production unit but there are only two of us so we brought in an extra sound recorder so that my colleague Carl could work on the camera work and I could focus on the directing. So as you can see, this is a female pelvis. The leg's there, and at least it's a nice clean break. Theater. Yeah, could I speak to the theatre coordinator, please? Speaking. Um, I've been asked to book in a fractured neck of femur by the orthopaedic SHO. Can we get on the trauma list? Not today's, but there is a slot I can fit her in tomorrow. Would that be OK? Yeah, whatever, that's fine. Can you give me some details? Mildred Hill. Hospital number? Don't know. Date of birth? Don't know that either. Oh, well, could you get those for me, dear? I don't have the notes. Well, could you give me a ring back with them then, dear? Yes, all right. Which consultant is she under? Dr Ross. No, the orthopaedic consultant, dearie. You'll have to ask the orthopaedic SHO. He's the one that saw her. All right, I'll speak to Kevin at lunchtime. Now, you're going to have to get her ready for theatre. Do you know what you're doing? Yes. Which side's broken? Um, it's the right, I think. But she'd be coming down to theatre with her x-ray anyway. Can you mark it then? What? The x-ray? No, the side, dear. What with? A marker pen? In terms of assistance from outside the organisation, this film was very much a collaboration between the team at the hospital in Burton and ourselves at the University of Leicester. But we did get some funding for the project from the National Patient Safety Agency. Before I forget, Burton Elm, I want to be remembered to you. It's not too warm for you in here, is it? Right, Mrs Hill. They're going to be fixing your broken leg tomorrow, so I need you to sign this consent form, OK? She won't be able to sign that. She's right-handed. Well, that's OK, Mr Hill. You can sign it. I'm not Mr Hill. Actually, I'm the warden. Well, that's fine. You're her carer. You could just sign here, please. What's this R? Does it stand for right? Yes. But it's a left leg, isn't it? No. The film is used in a one-day workshop for students and the film itself the forms form, a kind it. of backbone for that day. The film is divided into six chapters looking at different aspects of patient safety issues and 
that each of those chapters is used to lead part of the workshop, looking at subjects such as leadership, empowerment now, and communication. Do you think you can get her safely to the ward once she's got some of the red stuff inside her? Well, I was going to give some morphine. Maybe give her a PCA, do you think? No, 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 no. A little pain never killed anyone. You fill her up with morphine and you'll have to keep her here. Oh, let the ward sort that one out. Right. Oh, another life saved. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. I'm off to the pub. Um, tell Brian I'll see him there in uh, half an hour. Thank you. I think the most difficult part of making the film was the, the filming itself, simply because it was such a, an ambitious project with so many different characters. And we had to film in, at the weekend because we were filming in a real hospital. And so it was very compressed and we, we, we did overrun a bit in the time we, wanted, we planned to take. So what I do d differently next time is, is, is try to allow more time for filming. But then I always say that. Mildred, are you all right? Have you got some pain, Mildred? We'll get you some tablets, we'll get it sorted. I did try and tell the doctor she wasn't looking comfortable. No patients look comfortable when they've had major surgery, nurse. Haven't they taught you that yet? We're a very small two-person video production unit based in a university, so a big part of what we do is making educational films. What's been really useful in recent years is, is, is the change in technology. So in the, in the old days when we used to make things that were finally output onto VHS tape in one big lump, and what's been so much better in recent years in, in terms of educational films is the ability to, to split films up into a number of sections like the patient safety film and, and put those on a, a DVD as chapters or as individual films on a website as part of something bigger perhaps. I think these awards are terrific because they really focus on the educational value of what you produce and not only that they look at the the way those materials are integrated into an educational context so they're a fantastic way of getting your work recognized on an international level.